Hi, this is Susan Johnson, and welcome to the Classical Squeeze Box, North America's first radio series featuring music for the concert accordion. Now, wait just a minute. Don't jump to conclusions just yet. We're not going to hear polkas and German beer garden music on this show. That is, not unless they're written by classical composers. You see, in America, most of us just aren't familiar with the classical side of the accordion. But did you know that in Russia and the European countries, the accordion is respected as a serious concert instrument? It's even taught at music conservatories like the Moscow Conservatory and the Friedrich Chopin Academy of Music in Warsaw. And many composers have written concert music for the accordion, even classical composers like Tchaikovsky, Berg, Prokofiev, and Hindemith. Now let's listen to some music. This is the Prelude and Fugue in A Minor by Johann Sebastian Bach, performed by Polish accordionist Bogdan Presch. <laughs> Thank you. 
Prelude and Fugue in A Minor by Johann Sebastian Bach, played by Polish accordionist Bogdan Presch. Mr. Presch studied at the Music Conservatory of Katowice, where he later taught as professor of the instrument. This Prelude and Fugue is an excellent example of a transcription for the accordion, music originally written for another instrument, in this case, the organ. Now let's listen to a piece composed specifically for the accordion, the Concerto Classico, a work written in 1985 for accordion and orchestra by Bronislav Kazimierz Przebelski. The soloist is one of the most talented young concert accordionists I've heard, Morton Rossen. The album was recorded live in concert with the Zwickau Theater Orchestra under the direction of Albrecht Hoffmann. There are three movements, fast, slow, and moderate.
Did you like the second movement, that hauntingly beautiful Andante melody? It's such a delightfully happy-go-lucky mood in the final movement. We've just heard the Concerto Classico, written by Bronislav Kazimierz Przybelski, performed live by concert accordionist Morten Rossen, with a theater orchestra of Zwickau, conducted by Albrecht Hoffmann. Once in the summer of 1992, Morton Rossen was vacationing on the island of Cyprus in the Mediterranean when he received an unexpected phone call from Radio Denmark, inviting him to cut short his vacation and travel 1,700 miles back to Denmark to accompany the famous Italian tenor Luciano Pavarotti in a concert with the Denmark Radio Symphony Orchestra. During the first rehearsal, however, after only a few bars of accordion solo, Mr. Pavarotti stopped the rehearsal looked straight at the young accordionist and said, please give me more sound from your magnificent Italian accordion. You see, Italy not only has a reputation for producing magnificent opera singers like Pavarotti, but also for producing magnificent accordions. In fact, one small town in Italy called Castelfidardo is the accordion manufacturing capital of the world. So far, we've heard music only by European composers and performers. Now let's listen to two pieces of music written by American composers and performed by an American accordionist, William Schimmel. The first piece is called Iridescent Rondo and was written by Henry Cowell. You might like to know Mr. Cowell modeled his composition on the form of an Irish jig, which gives a dance-like flavor to the piece, quite appropriate for the characteristic reed sound of the accordion. The second work we'll hear is called Fables and was written by the performer William Schimmel. The piece consists of nine short movements, which are titled Cosmic Tune, Eternal Fall, Cosmic Tune Again, Almond Clusters, Of Aging and Youth, Chicago Rendezvous, Possible Mission, Cluster Clouds, and Cosmic Tune Once More. The work is dedicated to the memory of Henry Cowell. Here it is, Iridescent Rondo by Henry Cowell and Fables by William Schimmel.
Iridescent Rondo by Henry Cowell and Fables by William Schimmel. Mr. Schimmel earned his doctorate in composition at the Juilliard School, but he's also quite a philosopher. Not long ago, he was featured guest on National Public Radio, and the interviewer bluntly asked his opinion of accordion jokes, specifically mentioning Gary Larson's Far Side cartoon, where the angels greet new arrivals by saying, Welcome to heaven, here's your harp, and the devils greet their new arrivals with the words, Welcome to hell, here's your accordion. Now, many accordionists would have been put off by such a question, but not William Schimmel. He replied, I love accordion jokes. They're an integral part of the mystique of the instrument. When you get right down to it, the accordion can make some pretty funny sounds. Depending on what you play, it can be suave and sophisticated, or raunchy and vulgar. With this in mind, let's conclude our program with a piece that's positively as outrageous as they come. But before I tell you the title, let me first tell you a little bit about the performer, Guy Klusevic. He grew up in a Slovenian family in western Pennsylvania's coal mining district in the 1950s, where he listened to the polka music of Frankie Yankovic and others. At noon every Sunday, his family would listen to the Happy Slovenian Hour on radio, and in the summer they went to Slovenian Day at Pittsburgh amusement parks. In high school, Mr. Klusevic formed his own polka band and played at weddings and parties and clubs. He transcribed polkas from records and radio and eventually wrote his own. The polka was his introduction into the world of music composition. But when he went off to study serious music in college, he abandoned the polka. In music school, he learned about the so-called proper dance forms. Dances like the minuet, allemande, sarabande, and jig. Dance forms respectable composers like Bach and Handel utilized for their music. After graduating, Mr. Klesevic made a name for himself in the field of avant-garde music and became a professor at the Brooklyn Academy of Music. However, after some time, he wondered, isn't the polka just another dance form like the allemande and minuet? Why couldn't a composer write contemporary music in the form of a polka? So in 1986, he wrote his first polka in 20 years. Then he invited his composer friends, most of whom had never written a polka or even knew what it was, to have a go at it. The result is an incredibly entertaining CD called Polka from the Fringe. Let's listen to the opening cut, written by Steve Elson, who also plays the baritone sax. The piece is called From Here to Paternity Polka. <laughs> ever considered a Polynesian polka vacation?
Wasn't that fun? It's called From Here to Paternity Polka by Steve Elson, performed by Guy Klusevic and his band. Did you enjoy the music you heard on this show? Did it change the stereotyped image you might have had about the accordion? If you're interested, I've prepared a playlist of the records and CDs you heard on the show, with record numbers and addresses and everything you need to order the recordings. To get your free copy, send a self-addressed stamped envelope to the Classical Squeeze Box, 715 Ivy Street, Suite Number 1, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, 15232. Hmm, looks like we have a few minutes left. Let's play one more selection from Guy Klusevich's CD. The composer is Duke Ellington. The title is Klop, K-L-O-P, perhaps the only polka that Duke Ellington ever wrote. I hope you enjoyed this first edition of the Classical Squeeze Box. It was recorded at WQED Studios in Pittsburgh. This is Susan Johnson, your host. See you next week. Bye now.